Hi, this is Tamara Rubin again, TamaraRubin.com, Let'sSafeMama.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and check out the links that I'm including with each video because I have more information about uh, the products that I'm testing and any questions that might be related to that. So today I'm also going to test a zinc pot from Ikea. This pot is on my blog. I use it for pens. Um, it is 82% zinc and the remainder is iron. And let me dump out the contents. That was stupid. That just got glitter all over my couch. <laughs> anyway, the reason I wanted to share it with you about this is because a lot of people are using off-brand tests. Um, and sometimes, um, well, the concern is that there's a lot of zinc products that are contaminated with lead. Generally, those are industrial products, not products from Ikea, not products from Target, but like the ductwork in your house and things like that. And I will do another video later testing the ductwork and show you that. A lot of the ductwork can be positive for three to 12,000 parts per million lead. And the amount of lead that's considered unsafe for an item intended for use by children is anything over 90 parts per million lead. So I've had a lot of questions when people test zinc items and they appear to test positive using a lead check swab. So I just did the Beyblade testing, which is a primarily zinc item, and it test showed negative with the lead check swab. And I'm going to use another lead check swab here to test this pot from Ikea. So again, we've got liquid and powder, and we're going to go crush, crush, and shake. And then we just, I'll just to show you that, that then the inside is yellowish. And I'm going to drop the liquid onto the item that I'm testing, and I'm going to rub it. And whoops, it's round, so it's dripping everywhere. And this is, again, this is a, a zinc item that is testing. It tested negative using XRF technology, and it's also testing negative using a lead check swab. What I want to show you, though, is it's kind of interesting how there can be misreads. Um, it, it's, it's looking dark. It's not looking pink. If you compare this to other tests, it's looking dark. And that is, um, it's, it's, some people misinterpret the hint of pink in this to mean that there's lead, and there, there isn't. It's, um, it's really more like a dark orange. It's hard to see. So I, I just want people to know that if it's zinc and you're using a lead check brand swab, it should test negative. Um, th there's still some work to be done in terms of uh, further quantifying um, and qualifying like what other metals and what other, other, other metals at what other levels might cause uh, a, a reactive agent, chemical agent test to turn a lead-free zinc item positive. But it looks like some of the off-brand tests, and I have some of those to show you later, um, actually misread lead-free zinc items as positive. But this is the second example of me testing a lead-free zinc item, showing that the lead check swab is reading that as, as negative. Okay, so more on this later. Check out the links, leadsafemama.com, tamaroom.com, links in the comments, subscribe to the YouTube channel, see the other things I've tested. This is an item from Ikea, and I've tested quite a few items from Ikea. I'll put the category link at the bottom as well. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.